Hey, what up guys? My name's Mailbox and I have another Exo Zombies video for you today uncovering yet another secret that you probably did not know about. Uh, we're going to be talking about the storyline and a major Exo Zombies hidden image that literally changes everything. Uh, if you guys enjoy today's video, I always invite you to hit that like button. Uh, if you support my channel and if you want to support my videos, then that's the way to do it. Uh, but if you choose not to today, it's no big deal. Uh, so let's do this. We're heading back over to the carrier intro cutscene where we see Oz get shot in the head uh, by Lennox, who works for the Sentinel Task Force. Uh, so you know how it goes, blah blah blah, one of you has to go, Lennox points the gun at Oz, shoots him in the head, he falls and boom! Something is revealed that has never been seen before. That tattoo right there. Now before I get into what it actually is, I want you guys to take notice that this tattoo has been hidden from us for months. Every shot, every picture, every little glimpse that we have ever seen of Oz has never revealed the underside of his right forearm. It's always been conveniently hidden by his gear, uh, by the camera angle. Sledgehammer has made sure that we never saw this tattoo until now. So what is it? Well, I cannot give you a 100% confirmed answer uh, because the picture is not 100% clear, but I think we can all agree that this tattoo is of the Sentinel Task Force logo. What the hell? That's right, man. Sledgehammer decided that now is a good time to reveal Oz's biggest freaking secret, that he was somehow, during some point in time, associated with Sentinel. Uh, but how could this even make sense? We know that Oz was an Atlas employee, uh, a janitor to be more specific. Uh, how could he possibly have worked for Sentinel? Uh, well, we'll talk about that in a second. First, I want to play you an Exo Zombies quote from Lennox uh, that just proves that Oz worked with Sentinel, just in case you don't believe me quite yet. This goes all the way back to New Baghdad. Atlas dropped a special DNA bomb on a prison. Oz was there. I know because he used to work for us. There you go. That was Lennox and he literally said that Oz used to work for him. It's pretty interesting, right? Uh, so let's talk about this. Why would Atlas hire somebody to clean their floors if he's got the logo of their number one enemy permanently tattooed on his arm? That's the golden question. Uh, well, we know from my last video that all four characters have been drugged by Atlas. This is, of course, in order to keep them unzombified because they are already infected, they've already died. Uh, if you don't know about that, check out my last video, it explains it all. Uh, but we know that our four characters are being experimented on by Atlas, and that for some reason Atlas chose Oz, Lilith, Decker, and Khan uh, to fight off the outbreak uh, of the zombies that they started. So if Oz worked for Sentinel in the first place, why would he ever go work for Atlas? Well, some may say that maybe the drug erased their memory, maybe uh, you know they convinced Oz that he's just some boring old janitor, or maybe Oz chose to work there undercover to get some insight on Atlas for Sentinel, and then maybe Atlas uncovered him, chose him to start the experiment, and so on. Uh, but whatever the reason was for his employment at Atlas, we know that he ended up getting infected, drugged, and stuck in the endless fight with the three other characters, uh, which kind of leads me into their backstory and why they're here. Uh, we have Decker, who took a job at Atlas Security to get his foot in the door, hoping to get promoted, but he had a psych profile that may have kept him from reaching his goals. Uh, to me, this sounds like Atlas hired him without ever having the intention of letting him rank up in the Atlas Corporation. They never had any other plans for him other than experimenting with him and drugging him for this purpose. Same goes for Khan, who already worked there. He was mysteriously promoted, notice the quotes, uh, to the Atlas Genetics Facility. Again, sounds like Atlas chose some Somebody, uh, that they didn't really care for and used him for the experiments. Uh, Lilith was known for hacking Atlas email accounts uh, just for fun. Uh, Atlas obviously didn't like that and they didn't like her that much, uh, so they decided she would work well for the experiments too. It's finally starting to kind of come together, you know, we're starting to understand why Atlas chose these characters, why they drugged these characters, but the biggest mystery right now is that sentinel tattoo, you know, what is going to happen in the next map? Uh, my guess is that it's going to be a confrontation between Atlas and sentinel. And uh, we're going to really understand where Oz lies uh, in, in between those two companies or corporations. And it's going to be interesting. It really is. Tell me what you guys think in the comments about this crazy tattoo, about this freaking revealing tattoo that we have never seen before. Uh, probably the biggest secret in Exo Zombies right now uh, that was just uncovered that, we, that, that people didn't even notice. And I just really wanted to bring it to your guys' attention. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe. If you're new, um, Black Ops 3 Zombies and Exo Zombies, I'm your guy. Trust me. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. It has been LN. I recommend liking the video. Remember, Atlas.
us is watching.